So in this video, we want to find the area under the standard normal curve um, for some given conditions. In part A, we want to find the area that lies to the left of z equals 1.46. In part B, we want to find the area to the right of z equals negative 2.14. In part C, we want to find the area that lies between z equals 0 0.48 and z equals 1.97. And then in part D, we want to find the area that lies to the left of z equals negative 1.25 or to the right of z equals 1.64. Now in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to find these areas using the uh, standard normal table from the appendix of the book. Then I'm going to show subsequent videos to show you how to find these areas using the calculator and using StatCrunch. So let's begin by using the standard normal table from the uh, textbook. And we'll look at one part at a time. Okay. So if we want to find the area to the left of z equals 1.46, let's begin by drawing the region that we're trying to find the area of. So here we have our standard normal uh, distribution. I'm going to indicate that by the fact that I have z as my random variable, so the mean is 0 here in the center. So if 0 is here in the center, then 1.46 would be over to the right of 0, so it would be over here somewhere. And we're wanting to find this area that is to the left of 1.46. Now we can use our uh, standard normal table to do this. In the appendix of your book, on page A-11, we have a table, and this page of the table is for negative z-scores. And then on the second page, page A-12, we have uh, for positive z-scores. Okay. So taking a look at, at the figure here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to look up the z-score in our table, and then what the table tells us is the area that is to the left of that z-score. Okay. So for our problem, my z-score is 1.46, so that's on the positive side um, of the standard normal table. And so I need to look up 1.46, and the table will tell me the area to the left of 1.46. So bringing in my table, now the way this works is the z-scores are, are begun here in the far left column, okay? So here would be a z-score of 1.4, but then I can find a, the second decimal place by using the columns. So if I want to find 1.46 uh, as my z-score, I'm going to go to 1.4. This would be 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, and so on. Here is 1.46. So the again, this value that I'm seeing right here is the area that is to the left of 1.46 under the normal curve, under the standard normal curve. So that area in this case is 0.9279. This area here that I'm looking for, again, is 0.9279. So that is the area that's shaded here in my picture. Now let's look at part B. In part B, we want to find the area under the standard normal curve to the right of negative 2.14. So again, I'm going to begin by drawing a sketch of this area. So here's my standard normal curve, the means here in the, Z, in the center, and that's zero. And so z equals negative 2.14 would be over here to the left of 0, and we're wanting to find the area to the right of that negative 2.14. So we're wanting to find this area here that I just shaded. Okay. So I'm going to go to the negative page of my standard normal distribution, and I'm going to look up negative 2.14. Okay. So I'm going to come down to negative 2.1, and then there is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And so I see uh, that that area is 0 0.0162.
But now that is the area that's to the left of negative 2.14. So the area to the left of negative 2.14 is 0 0.0162, okay? But I want to find the area to the right. So I've, I looked up the area to the left. I want to find the area to the right. Well, the area to the right is going to be 1 minus the 0 0.0162. And I know that because the total area beneath the standard normal curve has to be 1. So if the area to the left is 0 0.0162, then the area to the right has to be 1 minus that. So the area to the right of negative 2.14 is going to be 0.9838. So 1 minus 0 0.0162 is 0.9838. That is the area to the right of negative 2.14. Let's go on to part C. So in part C, I want to find the area between z equals 0.48 and z equals 1.97. So again, I'm going to begin by drawing a picture. So here's my standard normal curve. Zero is here in the center. And so 0 0.48 would be over to the right of zero. 1.97 would be even further to the right of that. And I'm wanting to find the area in between the 0 0.48 and the 1.97. So before I bring in the table, let's talk about how we're going to go about figuring that area out. If I look up uh, 0 0.48 in my standard normal table, that's going to give me the area to the left of that. And if I look up 1.97 in the table, that is going to give me the area to the left of the 1.97. So if I find the area to the left of 1.97, and I find the area to the left of 0.48, and if I subtract those two, then that will give me the area in between. So using the positive uh, page, again, I'm looking up 0 0.48. So 0 0.48, so there's 0 0.4 over to the 8. That is 0.6844. So this area here is 0.6844. Again, that's the area to the left of 0.48. Looking up 1.97. So 1.97 is right here. That is 0.9756. So this area is 0.9756. That is the area to the left of 1.97. So the area that I'm looking for in between is going to be 0.9756 minus 0.6844. And so that's going to be 0.2912. So the area between 0 0.48 and 1.97 is 0.2912. Now let's look at part D. In part D, we want to find the area to the left of negative 1.25 or to the right of 1.64. So drawing that, uh, here is 0. We have our standard normal. So negative 1.25 is going to be over here to the left of 0. 1.64 is going to be over here to the right of 0. And we want the area that's either to the left of negative 1.25 or to the right of 1.64. So how are we going to find this? Well, there's a couple of different ways that we could go about finding this area. Uh, the most direct would be to find this area to the left here find this area to the right here, and add them together. And that would give us the area that's either to the left or to the right. Okay. The other possibility is I could find the area in between. And once I know the area in between, then 1 minus that would give me the area on that, that's not in between. That would be the area to the left or to the right. 
So to find the area to the left of negative 1.25, I'm just going to directly look that up. Okay. So in my standard normal table, here's negative 1.25. And so that area is 0 0.1056. So this area right here is 0 0.1056. 0 0.1056. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to the positive page, and I need to look up 1.64. So 1.64, there's 1.60, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is 0. 0.9495. Now that is the area that's to the left. So again, that was 0. 0.9495. Okay? So that means that the area to the right of 1.64 would be 1 minus 0 0.9495, and that would be 0 0.0505. So the area to the left of negative 1.25 is 0 0.1056, and the area to the right of 1.64 is 0 0.0505. So the total area is going to be what I get when I add those together. So if we add those together, then uh, that's going to be 11 carry the 1, and so we get 0 0.1561. So the area that's to the left of negative 1.25 or to the right of positive 1.64 is 0 0.1561. Now again, we found this by finding the area to the left and finding the area to the right and adding them together. Another option that we could have used, you don't have to do it more than one way, but an alternate to this would be once I had looked up the 1.64 area to the left and once I had looked up the negative 1.25 area to the left, the area in between, so this area right here in between, would have been 0.9495 minus 0.1056. And so if we... Um, find that, that would be 0.8439. That would be the area in between negative 1.25 and 1.64. So the area in the two tails out here would be 1 minus 0.8439. And if we do that subtraction, we get 0.1561, which is the same result that we found here. So you actually have two options on how we could go about finding that area. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the TI graphing calculator to find these areas.